Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot cast. We have got ourselves two exciting bots to watch today. Let's get that music going. I know you guys like that. And uh, yeah, we have got a repeat bot here. Roro, who I, I want to say was the Thor bot, which was very fun to watch. Taken on a bot which I didn't even think of how to pronounce this before I started the cast. Visenya? Yeah, Visenya. I'll probably call it Vis or something. Or just Red Zerg. That's that's a pretty solid way to go. But yeah, TVZ bot versus bot match. One bot that I've cast once, one bot I haven't cast before, so I really don't know how this game's gonna go. Always exciting though to check out new bots, new strategies. That's one of the cool things about these uh these bot matches you really never know how they're gonna go everything kind of gets thrown out the window as far as standard Starcraft 2 practice goes and so yeah we'll just have to wait and see Roro going for standard racks no wall notably and then Visenya just going for a standard Zerg opening so that looks all well and good so far. Interestingly enough, the drones are long distance mining right away for Visenya. That's not something that you really see human players do because you actually do get a little bit more of a benefit if you have like 18 workers over long distance mining, I believe. Uh, I should know that and I'm pretty confident in that one. I think it's like up to 20 that it really falls off. Anyway, uh, yeah, small little things like that, but Good to see the uh, bot author thinking ahead, getting those drones ready to transfer as soon as possible to that next hatchery. Then going to be a third hatch for Visenya, so we got the pool up, we got the third on the way, and all in all, a gasless opening from the Zerg, which I love to see. That's not something you see too often. And we've got just a safe opening from Roro, going for that one Rax, going for a bunker at the natural with a command center. So a bit of a delayed expansion, lots of gas mining as well for Roro. So this could potentially lead to some Thors, we'll see. Possibly, you never know. Uh, yeah, it's not full tilt mining gas at this point, which is good because it does have 200 in the bank. But ladies and gentlemen, seeing as how there is currently nine army supply on the map. Let's go for nine likes on this video. Consider becoming a subscriber if you aren't. Hit that bell icon to get notified. I'm probably going to go live for a stream after this. So uh, by that, by the time this video goes up, that stream will have already happened. But you can watch the VOD. Okay, a Roach Warren on the way for Vis. So going to be skipping the Ling speed, which explains the much later gas. That works well with Roaches. And then, uh, yeah, just getting up that third base, macroing up, so a very macro-focused game. We'll see if uh, this is potentially going to go for, like, Roach Burrow. Yeah, there it is. It's just too effective not to use if you're a bot author. Like, the, the ability to instant burrow a Roach is such a strong gameplay mechanic. Okay. So, first Roach on the way, Burrow on the way. Even if you want to poke the Terran a little bit, that's incredibly effective to do. We'll see if Roro is going to make a Raven or build a turret at the natural, that kind of thing. Double Starport is on the way, however, so... We'll see what all that gas that's mined so far is going to be used for. There's one tank on the way, double Starport. I do not know. All the while, Visenya just building up more and more units. A little bit of a supply block here, actually. Uh, I mean, it's making 10 drones still, so it's not really too hampered, but gotta wait for an overlord to finish before it starts anything else. Gas mining has ceased for the Zerg as well. Interestingly enough, the Zerg has made basically zero units, but now as it hits... Now as it hits, uh... Hits 50 supply, it's, uh, it's just building lots of overlords and drones. There's a roach. I wonder if we are gonna potentially see, like, a big roach swell. Now, that might not go too well, seeing as how we do have Banshees on the way for Roro. Double Starport play. So, this could be a very good tech for Visenya, or a very good test, pardon me. And uh, so far the bot does look pretty good, no major derpage or anything like that. And uh, we see some roaches doing a little bit of a dance. Dancy dancy. And uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Just double Banshee production going up against a Zerg that has fairly minimal anti-air. 
There is uh, a fourth hatchery up, which is nice. The drone count is just going to be booming here. Now, we will have to see some spore crawlers, that's for sure. The sooner that this is identified for Visenya, we'll see if there is a response to Banshees or anything like that. Notably, the Banshees don't have cloaks, so they're probably just going to be used in the army, I imagine, at this point. Another bunker's up for Roro, so Roro playing really defensively here. Roach taking some shots. Does it burrow? Yes, it does. A very high threshold there, which is nice. Unfortunately, the tank friendly fire could potentially lead to some dead roaches here. That being underground does not save you from the tank fire, and there it is. Uh, you may see some roaches die. Yeah, we are. So you can't really anticipate that as a bot author. But all in all, the uh, the attack in not really going to work too well for Visenya. So just going to turn around. That testing attack went on. A lair's on the way now. Still just two gases mining. Nope, pardon me. Four gases mining. Uh, still not taking the main ones, but. Uh, that, that's a bit better. Hyperflate Rotors is going to be on the way for the Banshees, but we will eventually need to see some anti-air here. As far as economy goes, though, this has been a very passive game. Visenya really just sitting back, droning up. This is, this is a Zerg doing what Zerg does, which is exactly what I want to see in a game when a bot is given free reign just to make use of all this. Now, more and more roaches are on the way. Uh... Hydrogen is on the way, so that'll be one of the answers here, as long as that evolve that uh, Groove Spines is researched, so they have the extra range, that's a big deal here. Banshees, Ravens are the tech of choice for Aurora, so really teching up. The Banshees will just shred through these roaches with zero opposition to them in the sky. The Marines are making the roaches dance a little bit. Uh, that ain't looking too good here for the Zerg. I mean, it's got, got resources to lose, these roaches are all just going to burrow, basically just hide out under the ground. They're going to get a few shots off on some of the marines, but very minimal damage. They're unburrowing, then they got to reburrow, but a lot of them are perishing here. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Is, are all these marines going to get cleaned up? Probably not. Roaches are going to unburrow. The problem is it's like one at a time type thing. Uh... I mean, the burrow, the burrow strength is incredibly effective, though. There is a raven out, however, it's not with the army. There's two out, actually. I guess there's three out. Where's where's the other one? Stark, Stark, there, there it is. It's just hanging out right there. Really blends in. Now, the marines advance a little bit, skirmishing with the roaches. The banshees are doing work. Uh, so far, zero anti-air has been produced here by Visenya, other than queens. It's just one of these roach-flooding bots, which... Is a very strong strategy at times, like it definitely gets the win. Cycling back to the more defensive styles being the strong ones. Some roaches aren't burrowing here, they're gonna just run forward though. Roro is getting up a fourth and a, a third and a fourth base here. More drones on the way out for Visenya, just replacing those extractors that were produced, so 80 seems to be the mark for this bot. But yeah, it's there, there's a Hydra Den, but no, uh, no Hydras have been made just yet. The Marine Count is going to be getting cleared out here. We'll see how these roaches handle once that does happen. They're just going to run by the Banshees. That seems to be the choice. Uh, just keep running and running and running. The Banshees having a field day, but getting zero kills. Queens are moving around, but not to engage those Banshees. And we'll see if there's going to be any anti-air here made, or if this is just a purely purely roach bot. We see five overseers get started. Uh, there was no cloak made, but Visenya says, all right, I need I need some eyes. And oh, okay, here, here go in the overseers. I suppose if you're a Zerg with a good enough economy, you can just contaminate all the Terran production too. That's an option. Uh, block all the production. That would actually be a very interesting strategy. I guess we haven't really seen too much of that. Lots of auto turrets getting thrown down. Roach is trying to break this position, but it's not going to happen. Overseers just dancing about. Roach is dancing about. More and more roaches are on the way. The supply is currently up 50 for the Zerg bot. Just spamming out units left, right, and center. Some roaches are working on this command center. We'll see if that gets lifted up or not. Those roaches are retreating. Overseers moving around. No overseer speed, notably. Roach Burrow could, have, could potentially be a usage in a bot like this. As uh, it would allow the roaches to sort of retreat. As they are no longer safe underground due to the presence of that raven. These roaches are doing work, though. Potentially going to kill this command center. Okay, this is going to be a good test for Roro. Is this orbital command going to be saved? More and more overseers coming on in. 
Uh, Roro may have not have programming to repair a burning building, or it may just pull a near SCV, but if there's no near SCV... Okay, there we go. SCV going. Go hug that overlook command. Roach is coming in, trying to break this bunker. We'll see if they do know this SCV is just repairing endlessly. The resources lost is currently 13,000 to 2,000. We got one of these games, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Roaches are moving across the map. The Banshees, though, are engaging the Queens. The Queens are terrified as it's currently, oh my gosh, 16 Banshees. There's a Hydra starting. Okay, 16 Banshees versus one Hydra, guys. This, uh, this better be the biggest Hydra list ever. Uh, yes, but a uh, little bit unfortunate there for Visenya. It is going to fall into the bot trap we see so often of uh, it loses the base. It's now going to divert resources to building more drones, getting back up to that 80 mark, which is important. But it can oh so often get in the way of proper proper unit production, which kind of stops the snowball. Now, yeah, it's just it's just not looking good for Visenya. Roro, uh, yeah, Roro seems to be winning here with its mass mass banshee play. Seems like a pretty good bet against a bot that only builds uh, only builds uh, roaches. And it almost makes me wonder if this is a hard counter from Roro going up against Visenya or not. Let's see, there's another Hydra on the way, but it's like, yeah. Uh, I guess one of them died, so now it's... <laughs> the one Hydra died, so now it's making another. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunately not going to be the case. I think Roro's probably got this game. Uh, this is the Joy of Cast from StarCraft 2 bots. The the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, fortunately, we get a lot of the good. This one's a little bit ugly. Um, sometimes these bots win, like the Roach spam ones. It's like, oh yeah. And Terran players often do die to massive amounts of units across the map. Just Roach blood, even if they have air units. But uh, This is not going to be one of those games. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you want to support this content. And uh, yeah. Make sure to uh, leave a comment down below. More bots, more bots, more bots. The roaches are turning around to engage these marines, but nothing to deal with the now 24 banshees. Imagine if there's one corruptor right now. That would be pretty good. Uh, those banshees really wouldn't know what hit them if there was. And these roaches are burrowing, but they are not safe due to the raven. And so that's why I'm pretty sure Visenya is going to die. Not really changing it up here. Just uh, wants that 80 drone mark, so really a macro zerg, but then these banshees are doing work. There goes the Roach Horn. What does Visenya do when it loses its Roach Horn? Okay, it starts Evolved Spines, um, and I imagine it's going to balloon up in resources, but... Okay, it's just it's just making Hydras. Inter interesting. I'd like to see the uh, the decision making there. It's funny, killing the Roach Horn would potentially be the way that Visenya comes back into this game as... Uh, I mean, there wouldn't be an answer. This one tank is a god. 30 kills up on the high ground. These roaches working away on this orbital. Uh, we'll see if that dies this time, but the the Hydrodan, I believe, has died now, so Visenya can make nothing but drones, and it is going to make nothing but drones. And I believe that will probably be it. I mean, it does kill the command center, so it's not like it's getting its licks in, but... Uh, yeah, no answer to all the Banshees, so... I believe that's probably going to be it. Another layer start. So, I mean, there is some contingency here in Visenya. But, uh, yeah, just the defensive play for Roro really was great. Multiple bunkers. Tank on the high ground. Make Banshees. That seems like a pretty surefire way to counter a Roach bot. Double Evo starts, interestingly enough, for Visenya. Like, I wonder what brings that on. Whether it's just that it's got money, so it's like, okay build this instead, build whatever you can, basically. I'm trying to get up more Evos, a lair. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be it, though. The minimap looks cool with all these Banshees skirting around. Wow, they really did fan out there, looking for, looking for that last base. And they find it. Wait, how many how many roaches died? Two hundred and sixty-nine. Nice.